Hi, I'm Sandy and welcome to Sandy's Numerology. Today I'm going to look at Steinhoff International Holdings and Marcus Euster and Christo Visser and his son Jakob or Jacob Visser. But first of all, Steinhoff International Holdings is born on the 3rd of March 1998. It has a six life path and double hidden sixes. So what does that mean? The threes mean to deal with the material world, attractive things, beautiful things, um, comfortable things, got color, texture, etc. And mainly they have been involved in furniture. But the double hidden sixes and the six life path is what makes this very interesting because this is all about friends and family and it's got a Bernie Madoff um, undertone and overtone of friends, families and connections. And that's how the Bernie Madoff star story started, how he enticed, in a way, a friend and that friend then got the rest of his friends because Bernie Madoff had that plan. But what is interesting, Steinhoff International has also got the overtones of the same as Africa Bank. And there's a complete lack of focus, but it's all about family and friends and it was never about the collective. The three third of um, third of the third is about the collective and how they can have material gains. And what is interesting at the moment that if we go back to 2012, I could go way back, but go to 2012 is where the internal financial fraud and mismanagement had reached an interesting peak. I even could go back to 2010, 2011, where there was accounting taking place that was underhanded but 2012 internal financial mismanagement it's actually quite unbelievable that then it returns it comes back in 2014 but I'd go back to 2013 2013 14 15 and 2016 any investigators have got to go inside and look inside and look at the people that have been involved whether it's the accounting firm which may have been the same one that they have today which is Deloitte and Tush were they involved then but I feel that there were some accounting changes that were taking place in 2014 and we go to 2015, internal fraud, power games, mismanagement. 2016, this is where the disease, because that's what a six life path can mean, where the disease is now out of control. And they've moved it to 2017, where they're in a 7 1, and that public one, because we were also in 2017, which also added to one, can be an immense loss of fortune. But if we go to Marcus Johannes Joester, born on the 22nd of January 1961, and is currently 56, turning 57 in January of 2018, he has double hidden fives. His Marcus Joester is a five. On one hand, this 22-4 is the most absolutely awesome number because it heads up an overseas um multi businesses that have masses working under he can put systems in place and structures in place and he's very strategic um, he likes nature and natural and the outdoors but he's built of the word earth metal and wood and yet he's got these double hidden fives he's an out and out smooth con man he would actually be able to sell the shirt that you are currently wearing at double the price without you even removing the shirt. 
he always presents himself as Mr. Nice Guy, Mr. Well-Mannered, and he is about money, power, and control. He has a full life path, which says that his greatest weakness is the paper trail. Because he thinks, if I don't do it, then you don't find it. But unfortunately, one way or the other, a paper trail, if you know where to look, it's always there and interesting enough that he if we go back 2017 16 15 2015 and 2016 personally for him on the home front two very very tough years very tough in relationships and money but it shows in 2016 how he received an immense amount of money but he was being watched because there were tax issues there. But when you've got a full life path, you have a three-year stint from the full life path for two years thereafter um, where your life is not hunky-dory. And he is in that third year at the moment, because he's age of 56, where he is being held responsible his age adds to 11, that's his resignation. But this selling of shares and making an immense amount of money in 2016, I don't believe that he was declaring his taxes the right way. He's got a lot of um, overtones of Donald Trump, a lot of deceit and underhandedness. But going forward, his 2018, 2019, 2020, are not going to be his best years ever. It's probably where his responsibility, he wants to protect his family and see that they are okay, but they have been beneficiaries and are part of. So I feel that his children and his family are going to be very badly affected by the doings of the Ewings, as we used to say. So to the people who are investigating Steinhoff, you've got to go back to 2011. But let's have a look at Christo Visser, who stepped in as chairman and then resigned. And the interesting thing about Christo is he's actually a man that is so gullible and so trusting that he would have had easily have had the wool pulled over his eyes by the likes of um, Marcus Eurster. And he is in a year where his entire footing on the home front has been unseated and unsettled. He has, he's in a year where position and title and structures are not there. He's got a seven life path and it's funny people with two seven and eleven life paths for whatever reason tax man will always have you on their radar and it could be whether you earn two thousand rand a month ten thousand rand it doesn't matter they will come they'll investigate you see that you owe and as they pay you as you pay them they then go oops now i need to pay you as well but I think Christo's taxes are in detriment for him. And I don't see his next four or five years being as happy as they could be because as he has to deal with the, the onslaught of the legal cases and the investigation from around the world, Germany, the USA, the UK, and of course South Africa, that there's going to be a lot of money that could get put into lockdown. The tax man is going to be investigating. I believe that in 2018 and 2019 to 2020, um, there's a lot that could be attached and taken away. He also has a heart problem, so Mr. Visa, please take extra care about having your heart checked on a regular basis. I think that you will be able to surface in 2018, no, 2019, from that September on the work field. 
So I somehow believe that there is something about you that is too gullible, but you've got too much fortune in your numbers, and I think you might have been driven more by insecurity than about being a person who is about a huge monetary control and power like Marcus used to. But it's still, there's an issue with your seven life path and that there's a lot of insecurity there. But I go to Jacob Visser, um, your son, who is a mirror of Marcus Euster. You've got, he's got double hidden fours in a five life path where Marcus had double fives in a four life path. And his fortune is being affected. There's going to be a lot of legal cases coming his way. It would be very interesting if he decides to turn state witness, which is incredibly possible. Um, and that will be coming up. Um, because I think these court issues are going to be going on for a good couple of years before either yourself, Jacob Vesa, Christo Vesa, and Marcus can come out of this with any kind of star shining or a rainbow shining over your heads. This is the biggest failure in the history of South Africa or known failure or remembered failure at this point. But to be as big a firm as there are 90,000 employers with 40 brands, 6,500 retail outlets in 30 different countries. I think that there's going to be new rules and regulations written about people who are going to foreign countries to list, to invest, to put their um, overseas head offices that... Um, new rules and regulations are going to be tightened because I think a lot of what was going on with Marcus was to get his money out of the country, have business there to give him credibility to be able to live there. But worldwide, his name is now um, on record as well as Steinhoff and as well as Christo Visa. Tough times ahead. So you have to be very careful because if you think that having all of this money and all of this success, if you do it underhanded, it's going to come back. The universe is very patient, very patient about time. And when the time is right, the time is right. And the time is now right for Steinhoff to be cleared um, and cleaned out and to be seen inside of what was really going on. Thank you for watching Sandy's Numerology.